Okay, this is the mason bee tubes. And as you can see here, this is a uh, paper insert that you see there that goes inside of a cardboard tube. This is the inside in the cardboard, uh, I'm sorry, the paper liner. From left to right, you have the left side are the females. There's approximately five cocoons that are females. And usually towards the right, towards the opening of the tube, there are approximately four to five males. So the female mason bee will come into the tube. She'll start at the very end here with a mud plug. Then she will proceed to lay a bed of pollen, drop an egg onto the top of it, and put another mud plug there and start, basically we're talking about chambers now. So as she goes through the, the straw or the tube, she makes chambers. Each chamber is capped with a mud cap. So you can see between each one of these cocoons there is a mud cap. This is textbook mason bee keeping mason bees. This is what the inside of the tubes will look like. Um, I've already pulled apart a few just to see what they look like this year. Here's my container with males and females. And here's another box of 250 to 300 straws that I did just last spring. So I highly recommend doing mason bees in your yard. Uh, it's an excellent way to see what kind of early spring forage you have in your yard. Uh, mason bees are a lot of fun. A lot of fun to watch. Uh, a lot of fun to just observe and watch them fill your nest up with, uh, fill the tubes up with, with cocoons as they go back and forth, back and forth. Fascinating to see the uh, female loaded down with pollen. Um, very different from honeybees, obviously. Um, they also don't have pollen baskets, so when they return to the nest, uh, you will see that they'll have, they'll just be covered with pollen. They brush, they groom themselves down in the tubes, and make the deposit and then, then lay the egg. So, anyways, mason bees, pay, please pay attention to your native bees. They are just as important as honey bees. And for all you beekeepers out there, I highly recommend that if you're struggling with bees, please consider investing in a mason bee house and raising mason bees in your yard. And encourage your friends and neighbors and family to do the same. Anyhow, enjoy. We are mid-February, and I'm out messing around in my yard with the bees. Take care.